if you look at the investments that we've made in Ukraine's defense to deal with this aggression, um, 90% of the security assistance we provided has actually been spent here in the United States with our manufacturers, with our production, and that's produced um, more American jobs, uh, more growth in our own uh, economy. Uh, so this has also been a win-win that we need to continue. Thank you so much. Big, big support, very important. The best money we've ever spent. Thank you so much. You amaze me. Your country amazes me. It's about our people. And about your people. Your people help. We don't care. The United States and NATO, we do not care how many Ukrainians die. Not civilians, not women, not children, not soldiers. We do not care. We are shipping fantastic quantities of weapons. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's uh, caused the stock of Raytheon, which creates missiles, and Northrop Grumman, which creates aircraft and so forth, and missiles. Uh, all of these defense industries have become tremendously bloated with, with uh, tax dollars. I don't think Ukraine has anything to do with the decision about peace or war. I think the decision about peace or war is made in Washington, D.C. Uh, as long as we want the war to continue, we will fight that war using Ukrainians as proxies and we will fight it to the last Ukrainian death. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you. Before the press, before the press, hey, whoa, 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 hush up a second, okay? Yeah, one more thing to say. I just signed another $200 million drawdown from the Department of Defense from Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you very much.